Hi everybody, it's Saturday, and time for my thoughts exactly. If you're new to the show, welcome. If you've seen it before, welcome back. We've got a really big show for you this week, so I want to get started right away. Coffee from David's Cup, yay! Mmm. So you probably heard all, all week long about impeachment and whistleblowing over and over and over again. That's all the news was, but there were some other news stories that you might have missed, which I'd like to fill you in on. The first one is really, really wild. I couldn't believe it when I first heard about it. It seems that there's this elderly lady in France, outside of Paris, that had a $6.5 million painting hanging over her hot plate in her kitchen, and she didn't even know about it. It's by this 13th century artist named Simabu. Here's, here's a picture of it. Now, I don't know about you, but the guy on the right with the sword, I mean, that sword kind of looks like it was just painted, doesn't it? It also kind of looks like an umbrella. I don't know. I, I, I don't think the Simaba was a, a really good painter because the painting is called Christ Mocked. But these guys kind of look friendly and they don't look like they're like upset with him. They look like his, they're his buddies. Here's a picture of me holding it. And who is this Simabu guy anyway? I thought he was a rapper. I thought he was part of Migos with Takeoff, Up, Offset, and Quavo. I don't know. The Masked Singer is back for season two. I am not a big fan of this show. No, I am not at all a big fan. Well, they make these people wear these like big costumes and uncomfortable masks. And they have, then they make them sing under them. And there's, they're, you know, supposed to be these big stars under these costumes, but I guess they can't really get big stars. And, and, and you're thinking all the time you dream that it's going to be someone big. So it's like the winner, you're like they're ready to unveil and take off the mask of who this person is under a butterfly or a ladybug or a beetle or a, a snowman or something. And they take off the mask and you're like holding your breath like, oh my God, is it Diana Ross? Is it Dolly Parton? It's like, who is that? And you're like, oh, uh, you know, you have no idea. You know, it's like some YouTube person. <laughs> Maybe I'll be on the show one day. I don't know. But, um, it, you know, so it's, oh God, it's bad enough. We have Judy Dench to look forward to in Cats. Help me, how did I get in this movie? Help. Help me, how did I get in this movie? Help. Movie trailer review time. Yes, it's movie trailer review time. I'm going to re review today Joker on my Predicto meter. Joker comes out next week, October 4th, I believe, possibly the 3rd. And Joker with Joaquin Phoenix and Robert De Niro. I watched the two and a half minute trailer and I'd like to review it on my Predicto meter. Now you'll recall from, next, from last week, the Predicto meter is based on a scale of one to five. The little toe being one, and the big toe being five. One means awful, horrible, don't watch the trailer, stay far away from it. Toe two is like, eh. Toe three, giving it a three means, I'll see it if I'm on vacation. Toe four is like, not bad, pretty good. And toe five is excellent. Now why do I only review trailers? I only review trailers because Life is short, and we don't have time to see the whole movie. Now, the Joker trailer is really good, really amazing. It tells a whole story really clearly in two and a half minutes. You can actually see the metamorphosis, is that the word? Metamorphosis of this character that Joaquin Phoenix play, uh, plays goes from like this like loser average Joe type bad comedian to this like you know criminal weirdo mastermind and it's like it's like even the colors in the trailer go from like these muted colors to these like vibrant reds and oranges and it's 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 quite good there was one thing I didn't quite understand in the trailer and that was uh, where Joaquin Phoenix is like ripping a boot apart and like I'm like was he doing that in the 
movie or was that he was doing that at his dressing room table and they caught him on film and said, hey, let's put this in the movie. It's funny. Uh, so I don't know about that. And uh, there's also a little love interest where someone like he knocks on a door and this like beautiful African-American woman opens the door and he like kisses her and it's like, oh, I want to see more of that. That's pretty good. Uh, but all of all in all, it's 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 pretty good. Here's another shot of it. This one may, looks like me when I find out that I have cinnamon raisin bread at Trader Joe's and I like run down the street. Yeah! I love that gooey cinnamon raisin bread. The one with the blue label. So back to Joker on my predictometer on a scale of one to five. I am going to give the uh, give Joker, I keep saying Joker because remember it's not the Joker, it's Joker. I'm giving Joker trailer a drum roll please. Let's do a little drum roll. Oh, enough of that. Um, we're going to give Joker a big old five plus 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 because it's a really good trailer. So go on YouTube and watch it. But don't, don't do that now. Wait till my show is finished and then watch it. And now I'd like to bring you eight seconds of a completely calming image brought to you by this bag of chips, which I need to eat up before they get too stale. So enjoy. Did you like that? Water spools are very calming, aren't they? Listen, I gotta run. I'm leaving later this afternoon for Florida and I haven't even packed yet. And I'm cheap, so I take the M60 bus to LaGuardia from 106th Street and Broadway. I have a monthly Metro card, so it's like, it doesn't cost me a dime. Well, it does. You have to pay for the monthly Metro card. But then, like, you could go, like, everywhere in New York City for, like, nothing. So I have to get going. I have to pack. And LaGuardia has been, like, really torn up these past few years, right? Because they're doing this, like, multi-billion dollar construction that doesn't seem to ever end. So you have to go through this. To get to this. <laughs> Have a great week, everybody. I'm gonna leave you with some music. Charlie XCX came out with a new album and I'd like to play one of the tracks on it that she does with Troy Sivan, also one of my favorites, called 1999. So the magic finger is going over here to press play and have a terrific week. Some quick news bites for you. Nicki Minaj is out of retirement. Yay! Justin Bieber is shopping for a tuxedo for his wedding. Finally, he's going to have an official wedding with Haley. So he's shopping for a tuxedo on Instagram. Go and vote for one of those tuxedos if it's not too late. And number three, Miley Cyrus got yelled at by her mom. Oh no! Because they were on like a family mother-daughter vacation and she was like posting pictures of herself on Instagram and her mother yelled at her because she wasn't watching the sunset. Bye everybody. Have a fantastic week. I love you all. My thoughts exactly. See you next week.